Hi, my name is Stuart Patterson, um, and this video follows on from my, my previous one about uh, about the Ten, Ten Commandments um, and their impact on on morality, um, and uh, and more specifically whether uh, an atheist can have uh, a morality or, or can survive without a twisted morality in the absence of these divine um, Ten Commandments. Although, as we've seen from the previous video, that um, there is actually more than ten. But it depends how you group them together. Um, my apologies if I sip on the odd um, bit of red as I go. Actually, it's not red. It's uh, it's a common French aperitif. I live in France um, called uh, Kier. You take a bit of uh, creme de cassis and you fill it up with vin blanc or vin, vin rosé. Uh, and it's Kier. It's very nice. Um, the Ten Commandments. And it's handy when you're talking theology. The Ten Commandments, um, individually, one by one. Let's start with the, with the first lot. Um, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol. Um, these three commandments are often grouped together, um, depending in different ways, depending on whether you're Jewish or Catholic or Protestant. Um, but we can take them more or less as a whole. Um, personally, I can see no way that these f opening commandments can have any bearing at all on uh, on the lives of modern, non-superstitious, rational uh, people. Firstly, I see no evidence evidence for God. Um, why I should uh, obey a non-existent being merely because it's written in a book um, is beyond me. And 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 but these commandments themselves are weird. Um, it says. You shall have no other gods before me. Is God saying there are other gods? Um, you shall not make for yourself an idol. Um, other verses, other ver versions say, put in there that I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. The guy's almighty. The guy's omnipresent. The guy's the guy's eternal. He's God, for God's sake. He's going to get jealous. He's going to get peeved. Uh, if I worship Allah, he's going to get in a hissy fit. It, it, it's illogical. It's they're they're stupid. We can write them off. Um, the next one: you shall not make wrongful use of the name of your God, or as often said, um, you shall not take the, Lord, the, the, the name of the Lord your God in vain. Um, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Uh, as as this has a bearing on morality, how? Uh, if I take God's name in vain, how does that affect? whether I'm good or bad uh, if I say oh god uh, is that going to make me go out and con somebody uh, if I say for Christ's sake uh, that's going to make me go and rob somebody it's not logical why does taking the Lord's, Lord's name in vain have any bearing on morality it, uh, stupid next, uh, next one of the holy commandments remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy uh, how in the name of blue rinse little old ladies can a day be holy uh, I'm all for having a day off I don't think we should work ourselves to death uh, but a day holy uh, just because the Bible says that God made the earth and everything in six days which is in itself is ludicrous um, and this is one of the commandments this is one of the commandments that helps us keep a straight narrow moral path and without this commandment if I don't keep Sabbath holy uh, I'm just gonna go off the rails and go murdering people ah, crazy 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 next one honor your parents or honor your father and mother um, a good commandment provided your father and mother were okay but if your dad is a brute and kick the shit out of you uh, if your mother's a crackhead um, and you're running around with no shoes on where's the respect why should I honor people like this um, just because some guy's sperm came together with some woman's ovum and produced me that's no reason to give them respect um, you'd give them respect because they were good parents um, if I'm adopted do I get honor my adoptive parents and don't care about my biological or do I honor my biological and I don't care about my adopted. Um, respect 
is something that needs to be earned. It's performance based. Uh, not just because someone tells me, not just because they're my father and mother. Um, I think this is one of those commandments that's stuck in there to get everybody, to get the good little sheep, to get the good sheep to think in an obedience frame of mind. Okay, You're brought up from this high, honor your father and mother, regardless, honor them, honor them, honor them. And that way we end up honoring all, um, all the people of authority. Um, no, it doesn't make sense. Um, thou shalt not murder, next one, or thou shalt not kill. Already it's ambiguous. Does it mean kill? Does it mean a murder? How, why can't God, when he's talking through his holy book, the Bible, um, when he's supposed to be revealing himself to us, why can't he be more clear and more specific? How come 2,000 years later, 4,000 years later, we're arguing over the meaning, does it mean kill, does it mean murder? Um, thou shalt not murder, I'll grant you that, I'll give you one. Thou shalt not murder. Uh, but if you want to do it, thou shalt not kill. What someone's coming to beat, someone's coming to to into my house. He's trying to kill my kids. Uh, what I'm not allowed to 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 kill him in, in if, if necessary in, in self defence. Um, I'll give you thou shalt not murder, but I'm not. A, I can't grant uh, thou shalt not kill. Uh, next one, thou shalt not commit adultery. Um, yeah, I like the sound of of that. Um, I think we need to be honest and and faithful. If you make a promise, it's something you need to keep. Um, it, uh, it's linked though with the notion of, of honesty in general which is why the next one thou shalt not steal is also a good commandment um, but I think you'll find that these kind of commandments are pretty universal uh, whether somebody worships Yahweh or whether somebody worships a stick stuck in the ground I think you'll find that they realize that uh, theft will tend to break down the fabric of society um, and so does going around and, uh, and murdering people willy nilly um, so uh, adultery, the stealing, and thou shalt not bear false witness. All of these three, we're talking about basic honesty. Um, yeah, just uh, stick to your word. You know, do the right thing. Um, and I like these commandments, but I don't see how or why they've come from God. I think uh, I think they're pretty universal to the uh, to the human psyche and to the human nature. Um, the last two sometimes grouped together. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife and you shall not covet your neighbor's ox, house, blah, 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 all the rest of your neighbor's stuff. Uh, why not? Coveting takes place in here. It's in your head. Um, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not shag your neighbor's wife. That's already covered in uh, commandment number seven or six, depending on, on where you're from. Uh, but coveting, it's a thought crime. Um, why can't I look at what my neighbor's got and think, hell, it's teeth, that's a fine damn car. I'd like that car. It's not going to make me go steal the damn car. It's going to make me work harder and try maybe to try and buy it, or maybe take a loan and buy it. Um, if I look at my neighbor's wife and think, oh, she's a fine, fine pair of legs, uh, it's not going to make me go out and shag her. It's like, uh, it's just a general appreciation of a fine form thought crime. It's there. These commandments are there to make us feel sinful, to make us feel that we're not worthy, and to make us feel that we can't live uh, without God. Um, they have no relation to morality whatsoever. So of the, uh, of the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 commandments that are condensed down to make the 10, I will grant you a uh, the murdering, the adultery, the stealing, the false witness. I'll give you four. Four out of twelve. Um, the rest are superstitious, uh, thought control, bullshit, and have no bearing whatsoever on anybody's morality. The four that I do give you, I think you'll find, um, are pretty basic common sense morality that applies to everybody and everybody understands whether inside of God, outside of God. Um, it's, uh, these are human nature, these are the things that hold our society together and probably evolved with our society. Uh, and the whole lot can be combined down into my favorite, the one that I tell my kids about when I'm talking uh, morality to my kids, trying to get them to do the right thing, the golden rule. Treat other people as you want to be treated yourself. It's written in the Gospels that Jesus said it, uh, but I think you'll find a bit of study that somebody said it a long time before him. Uh, the golden rule. Treat other people as you want to be treated. Cheers.